But just to say that uh, Louise is preparing for the release of her very first album in 18 years. Um, what, why so long? Um, do you know, I think it was just life. Yeah. Life got in the way, I got married, I had a family. Um, and then, kind of, as time goes on, the industry train changes so much that you just think, is anyone going to be interested? You, you need something to happen for, for there to be a reason. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and I suppose it was just... It wasn't meant to be 18 years, it just happened And was it all way. your idea? Did you kind of wake up and think, now's the time? Or did, did, did your people, you know... Do you know, of... to be honest, I, 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 sort of, I did Strictly and I, and I wanted to get back out there You're working. That, oh, thank yeah. you. Um, and it was actually... People did come to me within management and said, you fancy doing a one-off gig and just seeing where it goes? And I was like, oh, OK, we'll do a gig. I was really scared because it had been a long time and I just think on the back of that I got a publishing deal and I actually spent a year writing before I started making an album, just mm -hmm. writing music. And it was only then when I went in with my publisher and we sat down and we looked at all the music we'd been writing, he was like, I really think you need to do an album. This is... Yeah. Yeah. And, of course and do you, you feel that now you're older and, and, and much more experienced, that you have more control of your own life and your own artistic life? It... Absolutely. I think, I mean, that, they were great times. Being part of Eternal yeah, was such a great band to be oh, in. Album. All you can do is pull on what you feel or what you've been through. Well, how much on the album is influenced by the, the, the end of your, your marriage, Jamie, yeah. which was quite recent, you know, and obviously the latter years must have been difficult and painful, as all marriages at end are. But naturally, um, when you're writing and you're in the studio and it's your safe haven, you naturally pour your heart out. That's your kind of safe place. Um, mm -hmm. So I'd say there's... Definitely songs on the album that are never bashing. I don't... And this was never about... It's not a revenge being, album. No, no, and it's not about being overly personal. It's, it's how I felt, just as a woman, as a mum, as a wife. Can I ask what went wrong? Or is that delving too deep? <laughs> um, I, I, wish, no, I wish I knew. I, I just... Did you you know, seem the perfect couple. Can really I, can... sad times. It was really sad and yeah. devastating for the whole family. When there's children involved, it, it's something that takes a long time to get over. Yeah, yeah and you're a big family in the spotlight as well, aren't you? I mean, Harry and all the rest yeah. of it. But my memory is that doing Strictly was absolutely seminal to you. It kind of made you feel that you... It made you feel, to use that awful phrase, which everyone does now, it made you feel very empowered. It made you mm. feel that you could do something other than being a wife and mum, which I know you very much enjoyed, yeah. but you could do something else. And that it was for you, it was a kind of a moment of, you know, I, I can be someone Awakening, else while you were doing yeah, that. I think it reminded me of... Um, and this was no-one else's fault and definitely not Jamie's. You know, things that go on in a marriage are far deeper than a TV programme. You know, people can Obviously. put a programme on something. Yeah. You know, there's, there's different emotions and feelings that go on for years. Um, I think what the programme really did for me, it just reminded me of how much I love performing and yes. music and singing and, and actually... And dancing. And, and you, were, yeah. you were brilliant on dance. And my kids actually it's kind of... They see that now. They come to their gigs and they go, you know what, Mum, it's been a really tough time time for everybody but it's so great to hear you singing along in the car mm -hmm. to the music you've made and watching you whether it be in the West End or yeah, yeah. you know a music video or you know, just at a gig I think it, it times like that and I, I get asked all the time about it obviously and I never try and shut it down because I think it's happened and it was very yeah. public but when there's a whole family involved yes, it's massive in everybody's life. We're talking about family our daughter Chloe who's now 30 when Two. Was 32. 32. Was a huge fan of Eternal back in the day. Ah. And she wanted me, she's gone to Japan with her husband, um, James, to look at the rugby, but she wanted me to say to you that, a kind of a, a confession by proxy, that you were her first girl crush. Ah, oh, that, that's yeah, Chloe. She was absolutely <laughs> in love with you. Oh, she that's adored lovely. adored you in a, in a proper full-on crush way, oh, you That's know? lovely. Do yeah. you know, it is, that's the nicest thing about being, especially in a girl band, we were a band, and I think as a solo artist, even through the years of all the FHM days and that, I still think that my biggest audience were women and, yeah. and this album I hate to say it boys but it's a really it's an album that really just says come on girls we've got this you, we're all going to have bad days we're all going to have great days but ultimately we've got this yeah and you you, well, you mentioned is. your mum as well in the album you, my mum plays quite a big part because when it was you know the times were hard I'd do that thing in the morning cup of tea with my mum and and she would say things to me and I'd go into the studio that day. And, and the album's like this. There's a lot of upbeat records and only a couple of ballads, actually. It's not really a sad album. It's kind no. of a 
It's quite. A sh I mean, no. some of the music's up, but the lyrics are a little bit darker than maybe what they were sung before. Yeah, this one is. The album's kind of varied. It's got yeah. a bit of old, eternal. This is a bit of got a big gospel choir on it. The London Community Gospel Choir on this one. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's got a bit of funk. It's quite a bit R and B, solely cool. some of it, and and a bit poppy. So yeah. And it's called Heavy Love. Heavy Love. Heavy Love. Yeah. Okay. And you're still doing nine to five you're on stage? Um, I'm on a break at the moment. Okay. Um, but I'm going back into nine to five in a couple of weeks. How's that so going? I love it. It's yeah. great. I mean, it's yeah. hard. Hard work, the West End or touring is <laughs> hard work. I'm out on my eighth show on a Which Saturday. Which part are you? Night. Are you the Dolly Parton part? Um, no, I play Violet Newstead. All oh, right. Um, okay. Who kind of is the office boss? You know, she's always yeah. got a clipboard. She's everything I'm not. But it's <laughs> been great acting, and it's just been great doing well, something that, different. That's it's lovely to see. I tell you, one of the nicest things when we used to do this morning um, was was uh, seeing bands in their infancy. I mean, you take that, yeah, girls do you remember Days. That, the Spice Girls yeah. when they were all just starting out, and it was just it, it, it's amazing. Ah, uh, we started them all, dude. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it was so nice when they said you guys were on today? Yeah. I instantly felt relaxed. I thought I've sat on so many sofas <laughs> with you over the years. Yeah. You've like through every part of my life, every <laughs> corner. In turn, whether it be eternal or a solo yeah. artist, yeah. and now this. So. We're uh, eternal. <laughs> we are eternal. <laughs> very good. And you're still looking great. Oh, thank you. Well. Wearing very well. Oh. Right. <laughs> okay. What? It's you. I know it's me. I've done this job before, you know. <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. It says Richard, so that's got to be me.